What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining Shooting Gallery New England today. We got a special video for you. Just picked up a new shoddy. This is a Springfield Model 67F made by Savage Arms. This kind of goes under the consignment gun uh, category. Yet again, I've been finding a lot of good consignment guns. So sometimes I'm picking them up. I got one more I'm thinking about picking up as well at my shop. But the good news is this is my first 20 gauge, so let's load some up and we'll talk about this. We got some Federal uh, two and three quarter inch high brass. Uh, I think this is seven and a half pellet or seven and a half shot. I believe it takes four in the two plus one in the pipe. I could be wrong. I believe it's the first time actually shooting it. I did test fire this before I'm making this video to make sure it wasn't going to blow up in my face. Okay, that's four, and then, well, you know, when one falls, <laughs> I'll load that in a second. It's an old shotgun, guys. It's going to have some quirks. Ah, alrighty. Let's go. Safety's on. Rounds loaded. Let's have some fun. The fuck? Didn't strike the primer. Took that load of round. Now let's try it. There we go. It's not injected. There we go, it ejects. Whew, I love 20 gauge. It is so much easier to shoot than 10 or 12. So let's get into the video. All right, so guys, so what this is pretty much a representation of is what shotguns were and how utilitarian. 20 gauge is available just as much as 12 gauge. If you're hearing gunshots in the back, I do apologize, guys. I'm at my local gun club. So this 67F consignment gun, I picked it up for stupid cheap money. And I, I, I just couldn't say no. It has a nice blued finish. When we first got this into the shop, the barrel was kind of rusted, so I took some uh, crew oil and some steel wool, cleaned up the surface rust. It came out beautiful. It has a fiber optic front bead. Let's see, I don't know how well that's gonna focus. That looks like it's focused. Fiber optic front bead, uh, wood forend and stock. Really no recoil pass, 20 gauge. It's not that bad a recoil. Uh, so it does take four plus one, uh, has a cross bolt safety, kind of like a Remington 870. Um, it's, it's just a nice shooter. Uh, from what my research tells me is that this was considered like, you know, the everyday shotgun, a very utilitarian shotgun. Uh, Springfield commissioned Savage to make it. It does say Savage Arm Corporation, Westfield Mass, represent. Uh, but dude, guys, 20 gauge is one of those things that it helps people get into shotguns without buying 12 gauges that are recoil sensitive. I'm not a big 12 gauge buckshot fan. I am a little bit of a recoil sensitive person. I don't know why, but certain buckshots I'm just not a fan of. But I like the, the style of 20 gauge because it's a little bit more expensive, but it's still available. I can get seven and a half bird shots if I want to shoot trap or skeet with it. I don't really shoot those types of shotgun games that much, but the availability is there. And again, for people who are new to guns, they just want a shotgun for home defense. I paid $150 for this shotgun. $150 is really good considering if you have like a college budget and like say they're at an apartment or they're just new, they have a couple kids, but they want a gun for home defense. This would be perfect. With the right training, this would be a perfect little home defense shotgun. This has a 28 barrel on it, um, but I'd like to cut it down to like 18 and a half, just because, you know, I, I don't know. 
I'd rather have a little short. Uh, if I can get another barrel for it, I would. Um, but there's no stress fractures in the stock, which is good. This gun was taken care of. I'm guessing this literally was, had some WD-40 shot down the barrel and stored in the safe for most of its life. So let's get back to shooting this. Again, I'll throw some Federal High Brass. Now, some of the quirks with these old shotguns is when you go to load them, your loading gate is probably going to override the shot shell. Don't worry, it's normal. Uh, another good thing is if you break parts on this, no much gun parts, hands down best gun parts website for old guns like this, always have stuff like this in stock. Ugh. You're also going to get the occasional shell flying back because it is an old shotgun. I don't know how many rounds this has through it. What I did inspect it, uh, the bore was very nice. No pitting in the bore, which I like. Um, was that for? I don't know. That might be four. I don't feel like digging my thumb in there. I think I got four in there. Um, but we're about... 10 15 yards because I am doing bird shot. I don't need my shot going over the berm. I do have some slugs we're gonna check out in a second, but this is just a fun little range day video, guys. So let's see. Wasn't fully in the in chamber. There we go. Load this other round up. Alrighty. Do some tactical reloads. I'm that cool. Not really. Such a smooth shooting gun. Oh, I love 20 gauge. Guys, we're gonna uh, check out some slugs, so stay tuned. <laughs> While we're on the topic of home defense, that's right, we are going to be shooting some tactical home defense slugs, reduced recoil, 20 gauge from Brennicky. I've always pronounced it Brennicky. Uh, I've been told by my boy Russell at work that I'm illiterate and that's not how you pronounce it. I'm still gonna pronounce it Berniki because that's how I've always heard it pronounced. So, shout out to my boy Russell. So these are home defense. They have like that kind of weird like flechette at the back of it for the wad. It says muzzle velocities at 1250. Uh, energy, foot, so foot pounds of energy at 25 yards is 911, but at the muzzle it's 11151. So this is kind of a stout load. I'm at about 10 yards, so this is gonna suck. <laughs> All right, so let's load this up. I might need to bend that shell holder and shell carrier back just so it can hold these shells. I only got five rounds today just because the 20 gauge slugs are a bit expensive. 
not terrible. They're like 10, 10 bucks a five, so they're about, what, $2 a shot. I don't know. I don't know if my math is right. Probably is. I know you guys in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong, so. Okay, that's four. All right. Hopefully I don't blow up. Ugh, Jesus, take the wheel. It would help if I push the safety over. Get the fuck out of here. Reduced recoil is no joke. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go check that range. I'm going to show you something that I found quite interesting. So, guys, this is five shots of the Berniki. Sorry about that, guys. People are going off. Uh, five shots of the Berniki home defense loads. Reduced recoil. I was really surprised. I thought it was still going to kick because it is a slug. But I was aiming right about here. At 10 yards, I would completely recommend this. Granted, this is just the first five shots I've ever taken with the uh, Berniki 20 gauge shells. So, these might be some, like, the wads behind them, but they're all relatively right here. So, that's actually pretty good in my book for accuracy of slugs. But let's get back up top, close this video out, everybody.